So you're born and you happen to be the kid of two super intelligent people? That makes you automatically smart, right? No, not right at all. You are a dumb... No, I'm joking. I'm joking, say, but let me explain. I'm just saying that intelligence is not fixed. Okay, so what is intelligence? Really hard to define this one because there are so many different intelli intelligences. Linguistic, logical, mathematical, spatial, musical, and it goes on. The IQ tests you can do are each based on each particular definition of intelligence. That means that the cognitive skills that are measured reflect the model of intelligence that underlies the test. In general, tests are designed to assess the ability to think logically, recognize anomalies and make reliable inferences rapidly. Sometimes they also call on imagination and ingenuity, but no single test can consistently measure all cognitive abilities at once. Don't get me wrong, good intelligent tests are reliable, meaning that they are consistent over time, and also valid, meaning that they actually measure the intelligence rather than something else. They are not reliable as in taking into account the form of the participant and the context of the testing situation, though. I don't want to discredit the tests, they are really the only measure we have, just if you decide to take one, then take a few more and take the mean of the outcomes as yours maybe. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I would do. <laughs> Another important thing to keep in mind is that intelligence changes with age. A three-year-old who could accurately multiply 183 by 39 would certainly be intelligent but a 25-year-old who could not do so would be seen as unintelligent. Who the hell can just multiply 183 by 39 from the top of their head? Or am I just being 26 just too old and my intelligence is going downward from here? Wait a moment... There! 7,137. <laughs> Give me some support for this super complicated calculation my calculator just did. Subscribe now! Look, I even have those. <laughs> okay, but what they mean is probably that, I don't know, let's go with something I can do so I don't feel inadequate. A three-year-old that can tie shoelaces may be very advanced for a three-year-old, but not so much for a 26-year-old. Although, I'm just a genius for a three-year-old. That's what I'm gonna write in my resume the next time, either way. <laughs> now, the biology of it is all pretty complicated. Because while the intelligence is not fixed, it is indeed partly genetically determined. Yeah, but how do you know, you ask? Well, there have been studies, twin studies in particular, which allow researchers to estimate the relative contribution of genetic factors compared to shared environmental factors, which would be common to both twins, and non-shared environmental factors, which would be unique to each twin. And with such studies, it has been estimated that around 60 to 65 percent, some studies say it's a bigger span, some say it's completely different, so just go with the fact that it's not 100 percent, of variability in children's performance as rated by their teachers can be attributed to genetics in the areas of uh, science, math, and in general intelligence. Whoa, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Well, yes, but still, it's not 100. There are 35 or 40, or more or less, percent there, which are clearly influenced by the environment of each person's life. And the evidence for that you can find in even more twin studies, for example. Twins raised together in the same home have more similar IQs than do twins who are raised in different homes. And fraternal twins have more similar IQs than do non-twin siblings, which is likely due to the fact that they are treated more similarly than non-twin siblings are. Another piece of evidence is that the socioeconomic status seems to play a big role. Intelligence is in fact improved with education and an enrichment of the environment, whether this is with playful stimulation or music, learning, reading, has a huge effect on the IQ of otherwise genetically identical kids. Twin studies, remember? I'm gonna leave you with a quote from a psychologist I'm fangirling over these days, Marcus Buna. The fact that intelligence is in part genetically determined is no excuse for shrugging one's shoulders. It should instead motivate us to build on what we have. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> God, I'm hilarious.